Hey, boys and girls, how you doing? Time to read a story. And occasionally I have people who drop things off at my doorstep. I've had Miss Erickson, uh, the hunky lonky donkey, uh, Mrs. Schindler, one of our favorite books, uh, the book with no pictures. And then the other day I had some strange little elves deliver some books to me, four to be exact, but we're going to read their favorite book. Um, I'm not sure what their names are, the little elves, the Keebler elves, Santa's elves. Um, but Elf does start with an E, and I think all their names start with E's. So, yeah, it was the Warren girls and their mom, uh, Aubrey. So it was Ellie, who's in Miss uh, Prez's class, and then Emmy, who's in Miss Schindler's class, and Evie, who's getting ready to start school. So they had said that their favorite book was The Ninja Bread Man, play on words, Ninja Bread Man, Ninja Bread Man. And um, this is a book that's by C.J. Lay, and the pictures are by Chris uh, Gal, you see the front always has a title and the back has more information like a cool picture of the ninjas. So if you know what a ninja is, they, you know, it, it's a uh, Asian in culture. And so I did not have any cool hats or realia to wear with this. So, um, Mrs. Warren brought something special for me to flash around. I'm not sure if you can see that though. Look at that. Ooh, a Japanese fan. So what I'm going to do during this story is I am going to uh, fan myself off. Let's see if I can figure out how to use it here. Something like this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Now I will fan myself. Ah, oh, I feel so much better. I feel wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to do this cold turkey, which means I have not even rehearsed this story. Um, I'm just going to try my best to read it. And it's it's one of our lengthier stories, but that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That means that we're going to get to enjoy something for a little bit longer. So if I make any mistakes, have mercy on me. Be nice to me. But here it is, The Ninja Bread Man. On TV, they have a show called American Ninja Warrior. And there we are. There's a ninjas in their little area there, a ninja hood. And there's the title again, the Ninja Bread Man. Once upon a time, there was a little old sensei who taught ninjas in a hidden dojo. Look how good they look. The group trained hard to be the strongest, fastest, smartest, and sneakiest ninjas in all the land. Sensei was very proud of his students. So proud that one night he made them a special treat, ninja bread. Ninja bread was an age-old recipe passed down from sensei to sensei. It took a lifetime to master. Once baked, the cookies contained many mysterious powers. They were also dangerously delicious. Sensei mixed the batter, rolled the dough, and shaped the ninja bread into a tiny sword and throwing stars. Then Sensei crafted a ninja bread man. Once done, he carefully placed the tray in the oven. Hmm, this is going to be interesting because I wonder what the ninja bread is going to be like. Let's see. Finally, as Sensei opened the oven door to check on the ninja bread, what do you think is going to happen, boys and girls? Kapow! Out leaped the ninja bread man, alive and kicking. Oh, I'm a ninja bread man! <laughs> Catch me if you can. Sensei was surprised to hear the cookie speak. The time has come to test your students. Now they must try, try as best as they can. They can't beat me. I'm the ninja bread man. With a crack and a flash, the ninja bread man disappeared in a cloud of sugar dust. Sensei sounded the gong, bong, bong, as a warning to his ninjas. Tonight, they face the greatest challenge of their lives. Uh-oh, the ninjas are going to have to take on a cookie. Do you know what I would do, boys and girls? I'd say, come here, and I would eat it. I've been eating a lot of cookies while we've been away from school. Ninja Bear was balancing on one finger when he heard the gong. Suddenly, a sweet scent filled the night air. Danger was near. With a crack and a flash, a cookie figure stood before him and announced, Try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the Ninja Bread Man. I got past Sensei, escaped in the night, and I'll defeat you too. I can, I can. 
Ninja bread man, shouted Ninja Bear, you will make a mighty morsel. With a running roar, Ninja Bear charged, but the Ninja bread man jumped out of the way, and Ninja Bear lost his balance. Then, with a bow, the Ninja bread man escaped into the night. Come back, yelled Ninja Bear, but the cookie had disappeared. Do you think you could catch that Ninja bread man, boys and girls? I think I could. Not that I'm fast, but... <gasps> Ninja Snake was throwing stars in the forest when she sensed Sensei's warning. The bamboo swayed in the wind. Danger was near. Suddenly, a cookie figure stood before her and announced, Try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the Ninja Bread Man. I got past Sensei, escaped in the night. I dodged Ninja Bear in the pale moonlight. And I'll defeat you too. I can. I can. What's going to happen? What's going to happen, boys and girls? Ninja bread man, hissed Ninja Snake. You will make a super snack. With a flick, flick, swish, Ninja Snake launched her throwing stars. But the Ninja bread man was too fast. He launched a cookie star, Ninja attack of his own. Then, with a bow, the Ninja bread man escaped into the night. Come back, yelled Ninja Snake. But the cookie had disappeared. Ninja Mouse was training with a sword when the warning gong rain rang out. Ninja Mouse heard someone tiptoeing around. Danger was near. In the blink of an eye, a cookie figure stood before him and announced, Here we go again, boys and girls. Try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the Ninja Red Man. I got past Sensei. Escaped in the night. I dodged Ninja Bear in the pale moonlight. I slipped past Ninja Snake in a throwing star fight. And I'll defeat you too. I can. I can. I hope Ninja Mouse gets this guy and eats him with some cold milk. What do you think is going to happen, boys and girls? Ninja bread man, squeaked Ninja Mouse. You will make a nice nibble. Ninja Mouse sprang forward, but the Ninja bread man tricked the mighty mouse. Then with a bow, the Ninja bread man escaped into the night. Come back, yelled Ninja Mouse, but the cookie had disappeared. Can anyone beat this guy? How about you? My daughter Liz is filming. Could you beat the Ninja? Could you beat him? Mm -hmm. She says no. Fox. The fox is smart and tricky. Ninja Fox was sitting beside the great waterfall. He did not hear Sensei's warning. Hmm, Ninja Fox gently hummed. I sense something dangerously delicious. With a crack and a flash, a cookie figure stood before him and announced, Try, try as best as you can. You can't beat me. I'm the Ninja Bread Man. I got past Sensei, escaped in the night. I dodged Ninja Bear in the pale moonlight. I slipped past Ninja Snake and made him Ninja Mouse ache, and I'll outfox you too. I can, I can. I'm sorry, said Ninja Fox. I didn't hear you. What did you say? The Ninja Bread Man stepped closer and repeated, Try, try as best you can. You can't beat me. I'm the Ninja Bread Man. I got past Sensei, escaped in the night. I dodged Ninja Bear in the pale moonlight. I slipped past Ninja Snake and made Ninja Mouse ache, and I'll outfox you. I can, I can. I'm so sorry, said Ninja Fox, pretending he could not hear the cookie. The waterfall is so loud. What did you say? The Ninja Bread Man took one final step closer. Oh, boys, I think he's going to get it. Following one quick movement, a cloud of sugar dust covered Ninja Fox. Ninja Bear... Ninja Snake and Ninja Mouse came running out of the forest to find Ninja Fox. Was the gingerbread man gone? Far away in another hidden dojo, a little old sensei worked under the mystical moon, mixing, rolling, and shaping a ninja bread man. So boys and girls, I think the fox ate him. Because all we know is that there was powdered sugar all over him. So I'm thinking that the fox ate him up. But who knows? He may have gotten away and left some sugar dust all over the fox. We'll never know. Did you like that story? I hope you did. Again, that story was The Ninja Bread Man by C.J. Lay. Pictures by Chris Gall. And again, that was a great story. And we thank the Warren family for it. 
They've got a lot of other things. Should we read one of the rhymes out of the book? I think we could read one of the rhymes real quick here. You guys want to read one? Oh, where did I put them here? So boys and girls, uh, the Warrens also sent a book. It was the Riddle book. And I looked at this book and realized it was published in 1978. Okay, I did my math. I believe that was 42 years ago. My gosh, Mr. Walker was only 14 years of age. That was probably like a freshman in high school. So riddles are just silly little jokes. I'm randomly just going to go and read a couple of them to you. Here we go. How does a monster count to 13? How does a monster count to 13? He counts to 13 on his fingers. <laughs> Let's try another one. Ready? Are you ready for another one? Okay. What is black and white and has 16 wheels? A zebra on roller skates. <laughs> Wasn't that a good one? A zebra on roller skates. There we go. Let's try another one. Why does a giraffe have such a long neck? Because its head is so far from its body. <laughs> I, I kind of like that one. Yeah. I don't, they're just trying to make us feel kind of like we're not that smart in that one. Why did the chicken cross the road? Um, she wanted to get to the other side. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That's, uh... Why do firemen uh, wear red suspenders? To hold up their pants. They wear red suspenders to hold up their pants. It's very factual. Okay, I'm going to go through. Let me see if I can find one more here. Here we go. Um, where do you find hippopotamuses? It depends on where you left them. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, again, thank you, Warren family, for the riddle book from 42 years ago, circa 1978. Um, but some funny ones are all throughout this, and they left a couple more books that I'll have to read in the future. So, hey, keep tuning in to all of our stories and go to Bishop Elementary as well as Sunset and Dawson. Hit the links on sight words and letters and numbers and sounds and things like that. Make yourself smarter this summer. And when you get really smart, you'll start wearing glasses. Don't you think I look smart with my glasses? <laughs> I do. Bye-bye.